Well, you guys made a smart choice watching my dad's videos, cause here we go. After Wednesday I promised you guys that I'll see you tomorrow and there was supposed to be a Thursday video but the fact is is I had rain chasing me all day I was rushing I ended up spending two and a half hours on a property that normally takes me 20 minutes to mow but turns out I had to do leaves and sticks um, when I got there and it was just a mess and it took me a long time so I was way behind starting off but I still got a ton of work done yesterday today's been just running around all day um, I had to go and get training cooler lines for the GMC um, it's needed them for a while just a slow leak but I need to do those and do the tranny filter in it before I start towing the big camper this year and um, and the wipers have been intermittently working on the dually and I'll turn the knob on and they won't come on. I can hear the motor vibrating. So I'll lift the hood and I'll tap the motor with a wrench and they kick right on. So while I was at the dealer getting the tranny cooler lines, I asked about the wiper motor. They said $342. I said, I don't need the gold one. The regular one will work fine. But needless to say, I told them to keep it. I went to AutoZone and got a new wiper motor for 64 bucks. So I have to put that on. I haven't done it yet. but. In all my running around today, I stumbled upon an idea that I have, and let me just show you. Now, here is the right Sport X, as you guys know, <laughs> <laughs> and Noah. Anyway, it's all nice and muddy now, but I've been loving this thing, and you guys know, I've commented in the videos how much I love this, and you're gonna see a lot of this this year, for sure. But there are two things I found that are driving me crazy. Um, one thing is when I sit on the seat because Hold on a second, buddy. When I sit on the seat because my legs are so long, my butt is all the way back here, and I'm kind of sitting on this bar, which hurts. But I didn't know there are full adjustment points down here. I can move the whole seat in closer to the machine or further back. I did not know that. So I found that, and I moved the seat back. Also, when I'm riding it standing up, this seat is always flopping up and hitting Ooh, my legs, yeah. driving me crazy. What I didn't know also is right under there, there's a groove in the bottom part, and there's a plastic wing nut right there. This was all the way down. You can loosen up, slide it up. Watch out, buddy. And then this seat comes up only that far now. It will not flip up anymore because I have that tightened up, so it avoids that. So now I don't have to worry about it. Oh, oh, Here's my oh. other issue. My other issue is this pad is really small on this design. Now, I don't know why this little pad is on here. So when you're standing and you're leaning forward, you're constantly up against the metal here. And you don't feel this padding at all. Now, on this Sport versus a regular Standard X, a regular Standard X and all the other right mowers, this whole console, instead of being straight up and down, is tipped forward. So you're kind of leaning forward when you're riding it. Well, I'm going to insert a picture right here. Take a good look at this. On the left-hand side of the picture is this mower. On the right-hand side of the picture is the Sport. It's the right Sport Intensity instead of the right Sport X. Okay, now that you guys just saw that picture, you'll see it has the full pad that goes in here. Now my idea was, and I was talking with Ed Wright this morning, that I want to change this. If I pull this off, now if you look at that picture closely, you'll see that the bracket for this to flip up is actually up here. And so all I would have to do is I went and measured everything in my dealer. If I ordered the one for the correct or for the normal standard X, I can just drill hole right there on each side and I can mount that bracket and that full size pad right here and it'll be straight up and down and it'll give me a full size pad, it'll come up to there so you'll always be leaning against that pad. And I don't know why the Sport Intensity has it but the Sport X does not. Um, I'm not really sure why they went with the bigger pad on one and not the other. 
Um, I think the intensity is the smaller, cheaper version of this. Um, but I like that design much better. So I'm gonna have my dealer order that. The whole pad is a hundred bucks. I think the bracket is like another 30 or $40, something like that. So um, I'm gonna do a few more measurements and as long as I can make it work, that's what I'm gonna do. So those are my, that's my idea. That's what I want. You wanna hold the camera? Yes. Okay. Okay, so that's my idea. That's what I want to do, and I think it'll make this mower just that much better. I really have no complaints with this mower. A lot of people have asked, does this mower clean up on the second pass when you're, if you have to double cut? Yes, it does. I've had a lot of mowers in the past where I've had to go over it three, four times um, to clean up, and it just wouldn't clean up on the second pass. So this mower definitely will. Um, I'm very happy with it. I like everything about it except for I'm just not a fan of um, I'm not a fan of how that seat was flopping up But now I got that fixed just by looking at it and figuring some things out And I wasn't a fan of how far forward I was the seat was making me sit back on that bar That's fixed. So now my only thing is when I'm standing up mowing, you know It's not bad, but I, it could just be more comfortable if I had the other pad in there So I'm gonna try to figure this out. Um, I went to the dealer and took a bunch of measurements like I said and we're gonna go from there, but anyway, it has been rainy all day today and i'm hoping that i can get a little cleanup done tomorrow and hopefully we'll be back to mowing on monday next week is calling for a lot of rain again so we'll see what happens but more videos to come stay tuned and this here is noah's creation he likes to take random pieces of wood i have and build things this is what is this supposed to be now a boat a boat mm -hmm. okay I'm... what's that um a vacation one yeah a vacation boat Okay, well, apparently this a is a cruise ship. So if any of you guys want to go on Noah's cruise ship, um, we're selling tickets. How much are the tickets to go on your cruise ship? One dollar? Yes. That's the cheapest cruise line I've ever seen. <laughs> is a drink package and food package included? Yes. Okay. One dollar for everything. One dollar for everything. Drink package and food package included. Get your tickets while they last. The only thing that is free is to get on the cruise. That's all that's free. So okay. the so the dollar is for the food and drink package, but the cruise ship is free. Uh-huh. Okay, well there you heard it. Get your tickets quick.